and welcome to the Core Pack Packaging Laboratory. Today we're discussing plastic paneling and the benefits of fluorination. You might be wondering why you would want to fluorinate a bottle. Certain products react with the plastics in a bottle, which cause, causes paneling, such as a sucking in that you might see on your store shelves. So there's these examples here. Products that can cause uh, paneling include cleaners and solvents, especially those that have a citrus, a citrus smell to them, any product with a strong flavor or odor, shampoos and body washes that are organic or contain enzymes, such as this enzymatic shampoo right here, waxes and polishes, automotive fluids, especially those containing oil, such as this crack filler here. This is a, this is a driveway crack filler containing asphalt, which has an oil base, paint thinners, tanning products, and weed killers. The paneling on the bottles tends to indicate that there is an incompatibility between the product and the resin that the, plastic, the bottle's made out of. Fortunately, there are solutions to these products so that we can continue to handle them in plastic. You can make the bottle structurally stronger, such as adding ribs, or maybe changing the shape of the bottle, like oil bottles that are square, so it doesn't show the paneling quite as much. But maybe making a mold is not an option for you. So that's where fluorination comes into play. The process of fluorination they bombard the plastic with fluorine ions. When they do that, they replace the hydrogen atoms on the outside of the plastic surface with fluorine atoms, which are larger. It essentially plugs the holes so that the product doesn't escape or air doesn't get in. This can be done either during the forming process or after forming of the bottle. If you're looking for small quantities, it's cheaper and easier to do it after the bottle has been formed. Fluorination is FDA safe because it, it, it causes a permanent modification to the plastic. It does not wear off or seep into food. Fluorinated bottles are also just as recyclable as any other bottle of the same material. So now, what materials can be fluorinated? Common packaging materials include polypropylene, polyethylenes, and PVC. Examples of polypropylene are closures. Many typical closures are made out of polypropylene. High density bottles, such as a typical shampoo bottle, and LDP squeeze bottles. It is important to note that PET, which is the material that water bottles are made out of, is not uh, able to be fluorinated. I would like to thank Fluoraseal, the leader in the fluorination industry, for their partnership and support to CorePAC. Thanks for joining us in CorePAC's Packaging Lab. If you have any questions about today's topic or suggestions for future topics, please reach out to us on Twitter at CorePAC or our website, corepack.com.